Hi ladies, Crafty Christy here. Um, I'm about to do Maria Gonzalez um, 100 subscribers. She is having a nail art challenge. Uh, if you don't have her subscribed on your channel, go check her out, like and subscribe. And let's get started because hopefully I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm starting off with Lena UV gel in the pink. I have taken some out and mixed it with some glow in the dark glitter. And we're gonna start off by just painting that on a basic nail. And then we will hit it with the UV lamp and go from there. So let's start off by doing that. One of the reasons why I love doing nails and doing my own nails and doing art challenges and just messing around with nails period is ever since I can remember even as a kid I always thought it made me feel so very pretty I mean we all like to feel the extra oomph and for me growing up out in the country when I was a little girl I just I don't know I always just felt so very pretty when I was all dolled up and made up and now as I'm older and have my nails done of course I don't have them done now because I had gel nails on and then I took them off the wrong way <laughs> by peeling them off which I know better so I'm just kind of letting them grow out just enough so I can put the tips back on and they're not so flimsy so I've got that spread on there I'm just kind of letting it settle a little bit see how that works but I have MS um, found out several years back so some days it's hard for me to do nails some days it's hard for me to pretty much do anything so on days like this when I'm having a good day and I'm feeling good it's a blessing I mean it really is and I thank God every day that I can move and I can do this or that for now um, so we just thankful for one day at a time and take it as it is right now and like I said I just feel very blessed and that's what I'm basing this nail art on is what God's been able to give me every day and that's just life <laughs> so let me put this under the UV lip and I will be right back Okay ladies, I'm back. Um, I have just a little dappin' dish of just plain old alcohol here. And I'm just using that to clean that extra glitter off. Now I'm just going to go in here with a little bit. I don't want too much because I don't want it to cover all the beautiful glow in the dark gel. I'm just going to go in here and basically do the same thing. Since we're not doing this on an actual nail, I'm just going to give it another thin coat of this Lena pink UV gel and you'll notice throughout this video I have a heck of a time talking and doing two things at once so we'll just let this settle clean my brush out there and then when we come back what I'm going to do I'm going to put it under the UV light again when I come back I will do my design so see you in a minute yes, I'm back and I have put it underneath the UV lamp put another layer of well it's in case you're just catching up um, mixed a little bit of the glow-in-the-dark glitter with some of the Lena pink UV gel put it on set it up for a little bit now I have put a just plain um, layer of UV gel pink on it. It looks white because I got my light right there. If I go over this way a little bit so much you can't see but then you guys can't get a good focus on it. So what I'm using is these brushes I have got off of eBay. For a couple bucks to be honest with you I'm not sure the prices there's a bunch of them in there using a couple of those I'm gonna use 
one of my double dotting tools, which I also got in a pack off of eBay. Once again, can't remember the seller because I can't hardly remember anything nowadays. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I have Filling Royal by Bongo. Left my price tag on it, but that's okay. Um, Resurrection, Complete Salon Manicure from Sally's. And this, whoops, my lid's not on it. Black Art Deco Striper. Now, you'll have to excuse my hands. I had a little fight with uh, some acrylic paint. But I don't know if you can see. Well, I can't even see them. These right here. I'm going to be using some um, little metal circles. So I think what I'm going to do, start off by just putting a glob of each of the Bongo and the Sally Hansen on here because I want to do stripes. I love the look of zebra stripes, so I thought why not. What I don't want to do is cover this whole nail so when you're wearing this design with the glow in the dark in the back, I want it to be able to pop the glow in the dark out. I don't want it to cover it completely. So I'm just going to take my little fan brush here and I'm just going to run it across both of them. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to start on a corner. Just go back again. Just slightly go back across. But like I said, I don't want too much. So nothing fancy. Kind of just looks like it was done that way on purpose. Which it was. Don't tell nobody. Okay. So now I'm going to take my little circles and I'm going to make a cross in the middle. The reason why I'm doing a cross is because of my faith in God. I have MS, if I didn't already say that, I'm not sure. So days like this, I'm very, very happy to be able to do this. Um, you know, someday with MS, I may not be able to walk, I may not be able to move my hands, anything. So right now, this is why I'm doing the cross because I, you know, complete faith. Actually, that's not doing so good. So what I'm going to do is just put a little dab down the. Okay. Um. I have my good. I have my bad days, and thank God today's a good day. So. So I chose to do the cross. I love doing nail art. I love doing nails. I've always had a passion for nails. I've always loved getting my nails done. Just feeling that girly feeling that makes you feel pretty and sexy and hope I'm not out of camera doing this. Actually, let me just zoom in a little more. So that is why I love doing nails. Nothing wrong with having that girly look. It just makes you look complete. I say that, but right now I don't have no nails on. That is because, for all you ladies, that know better you don't rip your nails off gel or acrylic there's ways you take them off and I didn't listen to what I was told or what I know I should say so I peeled them off peeled off my gel nails now my nails look weak and they're kind of crappy and To redo them but I'm waiting on them just to get a little bit stronger because you know if you've done it before when you peel off your nails they get a little bit more weaker than what they normally are 
and that's what happened. So I'm just giving them a little time. And as you ladies can tell, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> it's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. Okay. So that is the cross. Maybe it's because I'm not. Here we go. But I want to do a little more. I'm going to use this brush. And I'm just making a little few stripes here and there. Just because to have a look of the, I want the cross to pop out when it glows in the dark so we will see back in just a second I'm going to get one more different color because I don't want it all just black and blue even though that is pretty I want a little something else to pop out be right back okay ladies I'm back I went and got bongo swapping secrets this is real pretty pink and I just added just a few more little stripes mm, might have a hard time seeing I'm afraid this lighting is horrible There's the cross. This lighting is ridiculous. Okay. Well, anyway, there is the nail design with the stripes. I am not liking that look. I am going to take you somewhere where we'll be able to see and hopefully see it glow in the dark. So be right back ladies. Okay ladies, don't laugh. Had to go into the laundry room. Close the door. Um, there's no like outside light in here. And I wanted to be able to, there we go. There's the cross, there's the stripes. Now, I'm going to put you there we go. I'm telling you, I'm not made to do these upside down. There we go. Okay. Let's turn the light off. I don't know if the look from the camera screen is going to make it mess up or not. I'll be right back. We can see if we can get it to glow in the dark. Hi guys, I'm back and I'm trying to get it to where you're able to see how this glows in the dark. So right now I'm in my laundry room. There's no outside light. I'm in here with a flashlight. So let's see if we can see to do what we're doing here. If I can figure out how to turn my flashlight off. Okay. There you go ladies. Oh, that is so awesome. You can see the cross, which is what I wanted. And it's hard for me to even see in here where to hold this up to. So yay! So that is my glow in the dark cross. Just for you, Maria Gonzalez. I hope you like it, sweetie, and everybody have a very blessed day.